Well, this is a coracle. Um, so this is like an indigenous craft of Britain. And this is like the most basic kind of coracle you can make. So you basically weave this circle, which becomes the gunnel, and then you bend in the sticks to create the boat shape. And then you, so it's upside down, and then you flip it over, cover it with this cloth, cover it with tar, and you have a boat. Okay. So this is steaming some water. And in order to bend these things, you need to put a bit of steam on them and and or heat all the materials are locally sourced some from your own gardens mm -hmm. such as the clematis the uh willow comes from the school mm -hmm. and uh yeah it's all uh, it's all a local product i'm gradually putting more of the timbers on and uh so what we do is you put them in position first and now i'm adjusting them so they don't look quite as sort of out of kilter so that's the sort of now we've got them all pretty much in shape. We're just trying to balance them. So bringing them in so that they're not too, that's a bit of a bend there, but trying to get a, a bit of a boat shape here. Are you happy with it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. I mean, the key thing, as I said to you, is how flat is it? And I think it's relatively flat, but uh, it could all go tits up. How's it going? It's going pretty well. I've tied off all the, the loose ends, so basically this is the moment of truth, whether it all spongs apart <laughs> or it's got some integrity. And the middle is, it's, it's pretty solid, so I, don't, I think it'll be okay. It, it looks good, it looks really good. Thanks, um, yeah, I mean, it's crazy, but it's got integrity. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Well, it's okay, so. It's all right, and it's, wow. it's pretty light. So the next thing is cover it with cloth and tie the cloth down and then we slap on the blackjack uh, bitumen. So you're looking forward to the uh, the inaugural trip? I am. I'm pretty I'm fairly confident. Um just going on green lasses, making these little skeleton boats. Just by this big steam in the wood. So, plan for today? Plan for today, take it down to the Gladnock and see if it works. So Rob? Yeah? Today's the day? Today's the day. After a week of uh, making, the caracol's ready. It's got to be tested. It's an experiment. We're not sure if it will work or not. So, let's hope it does. Have you ever built one before? I have built one. I built one when I was 14 and it didn't work. <laughs> I held that one back from everybody. <laughs> so I'm hoping with like 40 years of experience, I might have improved a bit. 40 years of thinking about it rather than... 40 years of thinking about it, yeah. How did it feel? How does it feel post uh, voyage? It feels a bit more knackering because it was, uh, it's, uh, well, yeah, got a bit of a cold, but also it's, because uh, it's unstable, you're just like, I was getting used to it. I reckon it, it's a bit like a paddleboard. I think with a bit more practice, each boat is individual, you see, so you've just got to get used to it. Also, these, I left these too high, so I was catching my hand on these things. And probably using a small paddle would have been better, but I just wanted the extra one just for the first trip. But yeah, it feels good. It feels good that I didn't fall in. I almost thought I was over there. 
I'll get 10 just out. 